Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Cliff's Toy Shop. On today's review, we take a look at the Storm Collectibles, Mortal Kombat, New York Comic Con exclusive, Rain, and Smoke figures. Today, I'll be scoring the figures in six categories. Accessories, articulation, design, is it essential to your collection, functionality, and price. Once the scores are totaled, I'll give you my opinion if these two figures are a pass or a purchase. So for accessories, we are seeing some shared parts. The face plates are the same, just in a different color. Each figure comes with nine hands. All hands are identical. So you receive a grabbing hand, two claw-like hands, open palm hands. I like to wear around the the plates on the hand. That's pretty good. This looks like a weapon holding or accessory holding hand. And another sort of grabbing or reaching type of hand. So rain comes with Three lightning effects, all different in size as well as shape. And there's some good coloring going on here. Let's see, maybe if I turn the light down, let's see. Yeah, actually. Okay, so you get different shades of purple as well as blue. The blue is what I'm really trying to capture. Give me one moment. Oh, too dark. There is some blue in here. Hopefully it's coming through. And they come with a base to which each one port onto. I'll show you that a little bit later. And the last accessory for rain would be this hand with water coming, sort of this darting water coming out of it. So smoke also come with some effect pieces, one large piece, no points of articulation, it's not bendable, does stand on its own. And you receive these pieces, which are pretty much the same, just different in size. And each of these can go around his arms. And that's what we get for accessories. So for accessories, there isn't a huge amount of wow. In my opinion, rain comes with the better of the accessories. I like the light in effect. The water that's attached to the hand is pretty cool. However, it doesn't remind me of the effect that was actually in the game. And the pieces that come on with smoke are a bit odd. I guess they are attempting to mimic smoke. It just, in my opinion, doesn't come out great, nor does it remind me of the smoke exiting his body on the game. And if I remember correctly, smoke was sort of a scorpion hybrid. I believe he had that harpoon that scorpion had in the game, so it would have been cool to have him come with that. So in terms of accessories, I'm going to give Rain a 6 out of 10, and I'm going to give Smoke a 5 out of 10 for a combined score of 11. So for articulation, I am giving both Rain and Smoke a score of 9 out of 10. There aren't many limitations when it comes to pose abilities for these two characters. I would like to have an added point of articulation around that knee area. So for design, there is nothing new here. If we count Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Noob Sabot, Reptile, Ermac, and the blood versions of each of those characters, We've seen this same body 10 times before. So it's simply a repaint. If I am correct, I believe that they use or they design these figures off of the first Mortal Kombat game. I don't remember Smoke and Rain in Mortal Kombat 1. 
I'm not saying that they aren't in the game. I just don't remember them. I remember Noob Sabot. I remember Smoke later on, maybe being like a robotic ninja. Mm. So let's look at the colors of Rain first. So the purple on the action figure, it's much darker than the color in the game. If you ask me in the game, it was more of a pinkish purple. Definitely a lot brighter than what we're seeing here. With Smoke, this color is more accurate. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera. It's a bit reflective. It wasn't, however, in the video game, but the color itself it's, is a closer match to what Rain is to his video game counterpart. So if both of these versions were in the first Mortal Kombat, I'm going to give Rain a 9 for design and I'm going to give Smoke a 10. Which brings the two to a combined 19. How essential was Rain and Smoke to your Mortal Kombat collection? So I thought about this as far as important when it comes to each character to the franchise. And the way that I did that was to break it down in tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. Sub-Zero and Scorpion are Tier 1 characters. I don't think any fan of the series would dispute that. Now, when I think about Rain and Smoke, can I really put them as Tier 2 characters? And the answer is no. If I had to choose another ninja, it would actually be Noob Sabot that would move in prior to Smoke and Rain, meaning that they would fall at that tier three lineup. Another way to think about that, when Storm Collectible announced that they were making Mortal Kombat figures, did you say, wow, I can't wait to have Smoke and Rain? Or were your priorities set to other characters such as Raiden, Liu Kang, Sonya, Johnny Cage, and so on? I know I was. And these were figures that weren't even on my mind at the time. So I'm going to have to give Rain and Smoke both a score of three each for being essential to your collection. So for functionality, I am giving both Rain and Smoke a score of 10 each. They are able to stand well, pose well, and be put in pretty much any position that you would want a ninja to be put in. So for pricing, both Rain and Smoke are priced at $55 each. Since I picked them up from New York Comic Con, I did not have to pay for shipping. I'm going to give them a score of 9 out of 10. For pricing, which would give them a cliff score of 46 out of 60. So now, if, is this a pass or a purchase? It really depends on how big of a Mortal Kombat fan you are. I don't feel that either one of these two characters are must-have to complete a collection. They are, however, nice additions to a collection. You won't be blown away by accessories or styling. What I like about these two characters, I feel that they can fit into other collections, other lines that you do not have to be a Mortal Kombat fan just to purchase these two guys. What action figure collection can't use a ninja? So I'm going to say that both Rain and Smoke are a purchase. So for scale, here they are alongside Storm Collectibles Tekken Hayachi, Marvel Legends Silver Surfer, and Mezco Punisher. Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Clips Toy Shop. Hope to see you during the next review.